What's up, Sexy Sam Ladder Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. First ranked 1v1 of Season 8. Ranked literally just came out. This guy's higher MMR than me, apparently. So we're going to do... A god. I don't know. Should I try hard? I'm streaming right now. I'm doing a 24-hour stream. By the time you see this... It should be, um, I should still be streaming, so. Oh, dude, Danza, of course. Danza just got to ranked. Let's, let's slam some Danza. I'm about it. All right, my man's Cupid. We're in the, we're in the duo lane right now. We're ADCing. Unfortunately for me, I actually don't ever play Danza as an ADC. I play him as a jungler. I, AKA, I just build Hydras and Crit and all things, and if they don't die, I die. So, I don't know if this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it very well could be pretty bad, but who knows? Who knows? I am streaming right now. Um, like I said, I'm doing a 24-hour stream just to open up Season 8 with a bang, get everyone hyped just like I am for it. So, should be super hella fun. I'm going to go... Strata item-wise, I think I'm going to go Mannequin Scepter. Which, is it, isn't Mannequin Scepter supposed to be banned in Duel? I thought Jungler Starters were supposed to be banned in Duel. Fuck it. I mean, if they're not banned, I'm going to abuse it. What's up? Let's do this. Mannequin is in jungle. No, Mannequin is a jungle item. And even if it wasn't, Boomba's Dagger is banned. <laughs> or is here. So it's supposed to be banned, but it's not. But it's okay because I'm, you know, I'm using it. Gives me really good buff clear. He probably also got it, judging by his buff clear. He did! We started exact same build, except I'm going Trance, he's going Devos. Honestly, you gotta respect that. I'm hitting him for one on the Mannequin Scepter ticks. So, Mannequin Scepter definitely is not supposed to be in duel, but... It's okay. Or maybe they just reverted that change, because it was like, whatever. I'm basically just gonna try to like, kind of bully, you know? Oh yeah, let's, let's bully by taking tower shots, that seems smart. Fucking nerd. Dude, I actually do so much damage. If I hit 5 here, do I ever dive tower and get the kill? He has beads, so I, I actually don't think I kill. Coming in! Boom! <laughs> Just fucking slam my face into him, holy crap! That was brutal. Yeah, he got shotgun rocketed. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm actually not going to back. You want to know why? Honestly, it's because he didn't buy anything worthwhile to make me think that he can win this fight. Oh, he's just going to the speed buff? I'll take Rattle. I'm down. I got Mannequin, so my clear is pretty good. What does Mannequin do? Mannequin basically, you see those 44s? Every auto attack, Mannequin puts a uh, a bleed onto your target that you're hitting. And it's double the effect on jungle monsters. So that's why my jungle buff is so so much damage. We've got a rat in our midst. Can I have these? I don't have mana. Oh! Oh! Traded. My my attack speed was so slow. Does Mannequin lower attack speed? Stacking up to four times, have and it reduces their attack speed by 7%. 
So Mannequin is a 30%... Well, it's a 28% attack speed slow. A 28% attack speed slow and a tick damage. I actually didn't know that it slowed attack speed. I'm, I'm just now learning. Missed that one auto. Yeah, that was on me. That was on me. Also, it was on me to use my one instead of my alt there. Because I very well could have just used my alt, been CC immune, and then completely clapped. But I used my one, thinking it would do more damage than it did. I'm not going to go for the blue buff, even though, like I said, my clear is really good. I'm just going to push. Because I'm in a good spot here. Would I die alting in? This is one way to find out. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I missed the auto attack. Also, are you slow immune and Danza's three? Is slow immune. Okay, yeah, so I can just I can I fuck up Cupid then. I actually didn't know that I was slow immune. And now that I know that I am, there's no he has no chance. I just press my three and walk out of his ult. The autos? Yeah, I mean the autos getting my attack speed slow for manic and scepter actually throws off my autos a lot. Oh, I walked into it. Let's go in. Uh, red buff is up. Oh, red buff is not up. Okay. Respect. That, I mean, that's Danza, right? That's just all Danza is. You press your rocket and you kill whatever you see. If you miss, well, I mean, <laughs> if you miss, then you're you're bad. But by the way, I'm not saying I haven't missed before. I miss most of the times I use my rocket. I feel like. Now I could go attack speed boots because I have been complaining about my um about my lack of attack speed, but also I would much rather go full power crit and one shot. He just got his devils and I just finished stacking my transcendence. I'm in such a big lead. Stop juking. Stop! Um, can I do Bull Demon here? Did Bull Demon get buffed? Also, Mannequin Scepter works on Bull Demon. The tick damage will add up quite a bit. It did. Yeah, Mannequin did 666 damage to Bull Demon that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. Pretty good. And then when it's upgraded, it will take a lot of damage. Um, initially, 15%, I believe. What if I just, like, assumed he's going to run to red buff and did this?
Okay. Question answered. Now, I could take his Phoenix. I could do this. He lived if he dashed towards you instead of away? I don't think so. He lived if he let me hit him and then dashed after I hit him. Can you make the turn in alt? What turn? The turn when he dashes towards me? Yeah, the the, the alt... The alt, um, turns on a pin. The alt is so crazy. Alright, well, I think next item is probably finishing Hydras, and then I'm gonna go Rage. Now, crit items were nerfed, Season 8. If you, uh, if you didn't read the patch notes, which I do recommend reading. If you don't know any of the changes in Season 8, it's gonna, it's gonna blow your fucking mind. You gotta, you gotta, um, educate yourself on the changes of Season 8. Or it's gonna take you a decade and a half to learn them all. Can I kill him again if I don't have my one? I missed you. Damn, he got Itchaval too. All my attack speed is his. Alright, so I'm gonna go Rage. Oh, I can get Rage and... No, I can't finish Hydras yet. But I can get close. Tier 1 and Tier 2 items for crit were all really nerfed. And you might be thinking, how are they so nerfed? Well, they got all of their crit taken away. All of their crit. Tier 1, only 15 power. Tier 2, only 25 power. You go to the other one, the other tree. Only power attack speed, only power attack speed. You only get crit from tier 3 items now. So, it's very... It's, it's a lot more rewarding to build crit when you can just buy the full item straight up. Or if you like... Um... If you can only get the tier 1 or tier 2 items, you still really can't fight, you know? You can't really rely on those RNG crits, because that was their... Their initial thought process when doing that was that they wanted to remove all the RNG possible. This is not it. What? Where'd he go? <laughs> Are you here? He was hiding in the corner. Found him. Found him. I am not gonna win the game yet. I actually didn't see him. <laughs> I actually didn't see him hiding in the corner. Fucking Cupid, dude. I'm not gonna end the game yet. Because I want to get crit chance. And yes, I know I said if you miss the ult, you're bad. But I also prefaced it by saying that I've done it before and I'll do it again. And then I did it. So, you know. All I'm saying is I'm true to my word. Well, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. What should I do next? This man is taking all my fucking attack speed. 28% from that, 30% from this. He gets a frostbound. What is that? Oh, maybe, maybe that's a good meme build. To do that. Holy shit, I tried this one. How much is that? What's 30 plus 30 plus 28? 9 or 88%? You can take 88% of my attack speed? I can't help but notice I didn't crit a single time on him there, and that's really disappointing. So. To combat my disappointment, I'm gonna keep farming, get rage, or not rage, get a uh, deathbringer until I officially get the complete alt auto that also crits with Hydra's proc one shot kill. Give this man a chance? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh my game. 
Okay, let's go get Rage. Fuck, Deathbringer. Fuck, it's a lot of gold. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there are lag spikes, by the way. I, I am seeing a couple lag spikes. I haven't dropped any frames. But, um... I am seeing a couple of lag spikes just because I'm streaming and recording. You bitch. I can't auto attack, dude. It actually takes so long to auto attack with his, against his build. I'm I'm holding left click. It takes like 16 seconds to get a second auto out. But no, I am seeing um. A couple of freezes, and that's not on you, that's on me. It's because I'm recording and streaming at the same time. Because 24 hour stream. It will not be the normal for Season 8, trust me. I just. I really don't have a lot of time to record and stream separately. Unless, you know, I was extremely sleep deprived, which some of you guys like. A lot of you guys don't like. Alright, I have my Deathbringer now. Now I need Mannequin Scepter, because what Mannequin Scepter does is if I haven't taken any damage in the last five seconds, I will immediately do 15% of their current health. So, I hit them with my ult, do 15% of their current health, plus my ult damage, which probably does 40% of his current health. Then I auto attack him with Hydras and Deathbringer and crit him for 1,200 damage, doing exactly... <clears throat> Hold on, let me do that. Doing the calculations all... Yeah, yeah, it's a fuckload of damage. It will it will absolutely one shot anything. So I'm farming for the for the mannequin right now. Cupid's still gonna win. Bro, if Cupid wins this game. Honestly. I'll be surprised. I, w I would That'd blow my mind. Honestly, that'd blow my mind. Buy this. You can only run this business in style. Okay, we got the combo, boys. Now, what's the chance of this working? 64%. Basically, the chance of this working relies entirely... It relies entirely on me hitting the auto attack. Oh fuck. I don't even want to kill him. But I hit him one time on accident for 900 damage. See, I, I could just like... Oh, he ran away. That did 1400, bro. What the fuck? I don't want to have to kill you, Cupid. Just run away, dude. Come on. I want to do the combo. I just want to do the combo. Can I have this? Nope. Does he have Aegis? He does have Aegis. He could Aegis my combo. That'd be a cock block. Alright, we got red buff. We get red pot. I have 354 power, a 64% chance to crit, and a Hydra's that's going to increase that crit damage by 40%. I am so fucking ready. Everyone shut the fuck up. Boop, boop, boop. It only did 9.30, which I'm actually surprised about. Are you just gonna... Oh, he dashed that way. Your middle tower is under attack. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate, dude. Unfortunate. I can't believe I didn't one-shot him with this build. Maybe I could sell boots for like a Blood Forge and that would one-shot. But even still, I don't know, man. No, XE is pretty good now. XE is pretty good now. It got, um... 
got changed to 28%. So basically, XE was bad. It was, well, it was meta because it was 30% pen. And then I got nerfed to 21% pen, which is why nobody bought it. And then it got buffed again to 28% pen. But they didn't buff it by adding more percentage. They buffed it by adding an extra stack. Which is worse, but it's still overall a buff. And it still makes it usable now. Rather than... Rather than just... Eh, you know? Alright, I'm gonna sell boots. I'm not gonna get the 1500 pot yet. But I'm gonna go Bloodforge. Actually, is Blood... No, uh, Heartseeker is probably better. Uh, no, because he doesn't have a lot of HP. Yeah, he's got less than 2k HP. Alright. See if we hit the win. See if we hit the one shot. Uh, not quite. It was a one combo, so I'll take it. I'll take it because it was a one combo. But I didn't get the Mannequin Scepter proc because his oboe hit me. Right before I, w I went into my uh, into my alt stance. But we'll put this poor guy out of his misery, I think. He's a trooper for sticking in that long, though. I'll tell you fucking what. Holy crap. All right, all right, there we go. GG, boys. First ranked duel of the split. Danza slams 11 and one. I actually died, so, you know, maybe he's not as good as he should have been, but yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash samthedude, where I'm more than likely live by the time you see this. Goodbye. Peace. I said goodbye. Who the fuck says peace?